if you have stiffness and pain in your body or have trouble moving around you might have arthritis most kinds of arthritis cause pain and swelling in your joints uh, in this video we are going to talk about osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis arthritis simply means joint inflammation joints are places where two bones meet examples knees elbows and shoulders uh, in between bones uh, is a smooth tough and slippery material called cartilage it cushions the bones and the joint capsules a uh, joint capsule is filled with fluid and the cartilage allows uh, frictionless joint movement uh, when you are doing uh, normal day to day activities you usually uh, bend and uh, stretch your joints uh, then our uh, bones will undergo very low levels of stress and injury uh, it's a, it's actually a normal thing uh, it usually gets healed and repaired uh, naturally in osteoarthritis however the cartilage wears down over time and the joint surface becomes rougher leading to inflammation inflammation uh, enough damage to the cartilage can result in uh, bone uh, grinding directly uh, on bone which causes pain and restricted movement sometimes bony growths can uh, develop around the joint and extra fluid can build up and this will cause your knees to swell uh, this will lead to joint pain uh, this uh, wear and tear uh, can occur over many years or it can uh, hastened by a joint injury or an infection Osteoarthritis can happen in knees, hips, hands, feet and lower back. Risk factors. Number 1, genetics. Some types of arthritis run in families. So, you may be more likely to develop arthritis if your parents or siblings have the disorder. Number 2, age. The risk of getting arthritis gets higher as you get older. Uh, osteoarthritis is the most common cause of pain as people age. Number 3. Gender. Women are more likely to develop rheumatoid arthritis while uh, most of the people who have gout, uh, it's another type of arthritis, are men. Nearly 60% of all the people with arthritis are women. Uh, number four, obesity. Carrying excess pounds puts stress in the knees, hip and spine. So obese people have a higher risk of developing arthritis. Uh, excess weight can contribute to both the, the onset and progression of knee and hip osteoarthritis number five hormones women are more likely to develop rheumatoid arthritis than men that's mainly because of their hormone estrogen number six diet dietary factors can affect the risk of getting arthritis uh, certain substances in food can trigger the onset of rheumatoid arthritis. Raw or lightly cooked veggies, legumes like chickpeas uh, and spices like turmeric and ginger, uh, garlic, fruits and yogurt, yogurt are good for arthritis uh, and you should avoid uh, you should limit the, the intake uh, of sugary substances. Avoid candies, sodas, ice creams, barbecue sauce, salad dressings and ketchup. And try to limit the, uh, limit the intake of processed meat and red meat as well. Uh, avoid 
taking salty food and avoid taking alcohol, sweetened drinks and coffee in large amounts. Rheumatoid arthritis. It's an autoimmune disorder. Uh, this occurs when your immune system mistakenly attacks your own body tissues. It's a chronic inflammatory disorder uh, that can affect more than your joints. In some people, this condition can damage the skin, blood vessels, the heart, the lungs and the, and the eyes. Uh, unlike the wear and tear damage of osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis affects the lining of your joint, causing a painful swelling that can eventually result in bone erosion and joint uh, deformities. Uh, main symptoms number one joint stiffness uh, this gets worse in the morning and after inactivity number two fever number three loss of appetite number uh, four uh, swollen joints early rheumatoid arthritis tends to affect your smaller joints first mainly the joints that attach your fingers to your hand and your toes to your feet uh, as the disease progresses, the symptoms often spread to the main joints like the wrists, ankles, knees, elbows, hips and shoulders. Uh, in most cases, uh, uh, symptoms occur in the same joints on both sides of your body. Uh, in our next video, we'll talk about Ayurvedic treatments, uh, home remedies, and lifestyle changes to help with your arthritis pain. Uh, Want to see more of our clips? Uh, hit the sub button to stay in the loop.